Okay, so full guide on building your dream body as a 21 year old. First of all, respect to you for clicking on the right type of video. This is an educational guide, unedited. It seems these days everyone is looking for free dopamine, for free stimulation. So congrats for clicking on this video. My promise to you is that I'll walk you step by step through this full guide. So at the end of this video, you can start building your dream body without the overthinking and make prog progress faster than I did. Why should you listen to me? Well, I started my journey as a skinny, weak and insecure teen. I felt nearly invisible and never got the respect I truly wanted. So I dedicated my life to the gym for four years full of mistakes with no excuses. And you can see in my first year of uh, lifting, I gained a good amount of muscle mass without getting fat and natural and my mission is to inspire millions of men to follow the same journey i'm Aris. i'll help men in their 20s build their dream body so subscribe if you want to see more educational content like this onto your homepage, because these are courses for free instead of degenerate shitty content here's what you're learning today number one you have very high expectations number two mindset three how long will it take to build your dream body four workout splits five workouts frequency six how to train as a beginner seven should you bulk or cut eight how many calories you really you really need nine diet protocol and ten uh, what supplements you should use quick plug before we start what i'm about to teach you is a general advice which means it will work for most people but in my school you get tailored plans tailored um, support action steps custom plans workout plans diet plans uh, i'll track your progress and everything so basically i become your coach and walk you through the uh, through the things you can do to build a body that you're proud of once you're ready go click the top link in the description to join okay we have a lot to go through so let's start with number one you have very high expectations so you're here's the thing you're not going to look like your favorite fitness influencer at least not in one year okay why well reason number one they have great genetics reason number two some of them use steroids you're going to do everything natural here on my channel we're not using steroids pds sarms whatever we don't use that shit here and reason number three they have been training for years if not decades so you if you don't have better genetics than them you're not going to look uh like them or better than them in one year or two years okay but of course you will make progress that doesn't mean you can't build a body a muscular body that you're proud of okay so first of all the first step is to lower your expectations because it's better to have low expectations and then be happy when you make progress okay number two let's talk about mindset here's the thing building muscle it's not a race it's a marathon okay it's not about getting there as fast as you can this is a marathon okay slow progress but steady okay it doesn't have to be fast you must put in the work first you must work hard very hard in order to achieve your dream body it's not going to be like a three month uh, protocol you just do these exercises and then you have your dream body no you must put in the work for years okay and start with this mindset that as long as you don't quit you will build your body okay and if you think about it think about it it makes sense as long as you don't quit you will build your body because if you train for two months and then you quit then you won't build any muscle at all you can't stay in your bed like this oh i build muscle yeah no you need to put in the work okay so building muscle is not a race it's a marathon it doesn't have to be fast you must put in the work first you must work hard and as long as you don't quit you will build your body now let's go over how long will it take to to build your dream body because maybe uh you have this question so if you start with that mindset the previous uh, the previous step uh, step number two you don't have to worry about this you don't have to uh, worry about how long it will take it doesn't matter if you start with the mindset that it is not a race it is a marathon as long as you don't quit you will build your your body 
It doesn't have to be fast. You need to work hard. It doesn't matter uh, how long it will take for you to build your dream body. Okay. But of course, if you still want an answer to that question, in my opinion, if you do the right things, you should see visible changes in three to six months, depending or on your genetics, of course. And you should build your dream body in one to two years for most people. That's for most people, for the average person. If you have great genetics, of course, in six months, uh, less than a year, you can build like uh, a really nice body. But for most people, for average genetics in one to two years, maybe three years of doing the right things. And in one to two years at this point, you uh, you should look better than 99% of people. Okay. I think that's a fair trade. You put in the work for uh, for one, two years, maybe three years. But then for the rest of your life, you continue to put in the work and then you look better than 99% of people. When, you, when you're out in a restaurant or whatever in public and you pick someone random, you look better than them. Okay. So I think that's a fair trade right there. Okay, so now let's go over the workout splits. The first step that you need to take is you need a workout split. If you don't know what a uh, what is a workout split, a workout split is basically how you schedule and split your training sessions throughout the week. Okay, so the most popular ones are bro split, push pull legs, upper body, lower body and full body. We're going to go through them together. Bro split is basically when you train one body part per week. So for example, day one, you train chest, day two, you train back and day three, you train shoulders. Basically, you train one body part per week. That's it. And you have, I think, two days of rest or, or something. And then we have push pull legs. With this, you're going to train each body part two to three times per week. So you have push day. On push day, you're going to train your chest, shoulders, and triceps. On pull day, you're going to train your back, rear delt, and biceps. And on leg day, you're going to train your legs. Next, upper body, lower body. With this, train each body part two, to, uh, two times per week. On upper body, you will have chest, shoulders, arms, back, and lower body, you have uh, legs. Maybe you can incorporate uh, core abs, you can incorporate uh, into lower body or upper body, uh, whatever you like. And then full body is common sense. You train each body part two to three times per week, depending on how many times you go to the gym. So if you go uh, two times per week, you train your full body two times per week. Okay, but which one should you choose? Because there are uh, a few workout splits. So choose one, don't overthink this, just choose one, you're going to make progress with it. Okay. So you're going to make progress with any split as long as you're consistent and implement my advice. In my opinion, if you're a busy person with your studies with university, just choose full body two to three times per week. If you uh, can't, if you cannot go to the gym, like uh, five days, six days a week, then choose full body because you, you go to the gym only for two days or three days and you train your full body. If you if you can go to the gym for more days, like uh, five days, six days a week, then choose push pull legs. This is uh, my opinion. Okay, now let's go over workouts frequency. So to maximize muscle growth, to build more muscle, you need to train each body part two to three times per week. What if you choose bro split? Because like I said, with bro split, you're going to train each body part only once a week. So what if I want to do bro split? Well, if you like bro split, that's fine. Just know that it is not the most efficient one, but you can make progress um, with bro split. You can make progress, but you don't maximize muscle growth. That's all you need to know. You're still going to make progress. Don't worry about that. But you must know that it is not the most efficient one. In fact, when I first started my fitness journey, I started with bro split and for like six months or so, uh, and I made really good progress with bro split. But of course, I could have made uh, more progress if I were to choose full body or push pull legs or upper body, lower body. Okay, now let's see how to train as a beginner. Here's the thing in your first two months, you need to focus on these things uh, here. You need to learn the exercises with proper form, okay? 
you need to use light weight you need to focus on the eccentric part you need to train slow and you need to train and you need to do 10 to 20 reps per set now why uh why you need to learn the exercises with proper form if you don't use proper form sooner or later you're going to injure yourself and if you injure yourself your biceps your tendons or whatever you're not going to be able to uh, train for months if you don't train you don't make progress like i said you can't stay in your bed and make progress no so use light weight again use light weight to avoid injury because when you learn the exercises you don't need to go hard and especially in your first two months you don't need to go hard with you don't need to use heavy weight whatever just use light weight learn the exercises with proper form now one thing which is very very important you need to focus on the eccentric part of the movement so let's explain this there are two types of, con of contraction we have concentric and eccentric Let's take bicep curl uh, as an example. So, let me see here. Okay, so you can see now. Let's take a bicep curl as an example. When you curl the weight up, that's a that's the concentric part. Okay. When you lower the weight, that's the eccentric. So when I say focus on the eccentric part, you need to focus on lowering the weight slowly. Time under tension. You need to create more uh, you need to put more stress onto your muscle so when you do the eccentric part you just do it slowly okay so you curl the weight with force and then you lower the weight slowly focusing on the eccentric okay you need to train slow you need to train slow in your first month in your fifth month whatever you need to train slow you don't want to rush through the movements. You don't want to rush through the exercises. Don't rush. Train, train slow. Okay, this is how you build muscle. You train slow. Again, time under tension, and you'll create more damage. And use ten to twenty reps per set. Again, as you lower the weight, uh, as you lower the reps, you're going to increase the chances for injury. So if you do like set uh, six reps per set you need to use heavy weight to get only six reps per one set and if you use heavy weight there are more uh, uh, there's more likely that you're going to get injured so in your first two months learn the exercise with proper form use light weight focus on the eccentric like i like i um, showed you train slow and use 10 to 20 reps per set once you make progress you feel ready to go hard it is it is time to make progress to implement progressive overload you need to still focus on the eccentric part you need to still train uh, slow you're going to add a drop set and you're going to lower the reps per set a bit uh, so let's let's explain progressive overload progressive overload is basically when you train harder than the previous session there are a lot of ways to implement progressive overload you can add more reps you can add more weight uh, you can slow the weight down there are a lot of ways keep this in mind you need to train hard each session so push yourself each session uh, again not in your first two months once you make uh, just a little bit of progress and you feel ready you you know the exercises and you feel ready to push yourself okay um this will come naturally progressive old you, you will feel to go hard but this i'm gonna tell you like a simple strategy to properly progressive overload so let's say for one set you have to do 8 to 15 reps you increase the weight so you can do maximum eight reps each session week by week you push yourself hard until you can get with that weight you get closer to 15 reps maybe next week you're gonna get 10 reps next week you're gonna get 13 14 and 15 once you get to 15 you increase the weight more until you can do eight reps again and you do the same thing you repeat the cycle this is just one simple way to progressive overload but just keep in mind you need to train hard you need to train 
till failure. So when I say you need to train till failure, well, you don't have to go to failure, to train till failure uh, on each exercise, but at least go to failure on one, at least one exercise for one uh, muscle, uh, for one muscle group. So let's say for chest, you have three exercises. Well, go to failure on one uh, exercise. And then you need to focus on the eccentric part, like I showed you, and then train slow and add a drop set. Drop set is basically when you finish a set, um, let's say you have four sets, you finish the fourth set, and then you're not done. You decrease the weight and then you do one more set. This is another way to go to failure. And then eight to 25 reps per set. Here's how to do it. So let's say you have four sets. On your first set, you're going to do more reps, 20, 25, use a light weight to warm up the muscle. On your second set, you're going to decrease the reps a bit, maybe 15 to 20. And then third set and fourth set, uh, are working sets and you're going to decrease the, the reps, maybe eight to 10, maybe eight to 12, and you increase the weight and push yourself um, hard. You definitely don't wanna do the 10, uh, uh, three sets of 12 on each exercise. No, just use this method to properly warm up the muscle. Okay, how many calories you really need? Well, the average man needs, 1800 calories per day the average man is fat because he eats over 2500 a day okay so you don't really need like to stay to keep your body fat percentage the same to be healthy you need approximately on average 1800 calories a day if you're really tall okay if you if you are taller than the average person then of course you may need more than 2000 maybe 2500 if you're like really tall but you don't need definitely you don't need 3000 calories to build muscle of course if you do cardio daily and you burn let's say 1000 calories every single day then yes of course you need 3000 calories but for most people 1800 to uh, 2500 it's like the perfect uh, range. Okay, should you bulk or should you cut? Well, first of all, we must understand what is a deficit, maintenance and surplus. Maintenance is basically when you eat and you don't gain fat, you don't uh, lose fat. So in this example, 2000 calories is uh, for maintenance. If your maintenance number is 2000 calories per day and you eat 2000, you're not going to uh, lose weight, you're not going to uh, gain weight. When you eat less than 2000 in this example, that is a deficit. You're going to lose fat. When you eat more than 2000, that is a surplus. You gain weight. Okay. What is bulk and what is cut? Bulk is when you eat in a surplus for a period of time and cut is when you eat in a deficit for a period of time. Okay, let's take the first example. This is the first example. If you look like this, if you're like below skinny, you need to bulk. You, need, you, don't, need, you don't eat enough calories. Of course, if you have a, like a medical condition or whatever, go to the doctor and listen to his advice. But if you don't have any medical condition or whatever, you need to eat more calories. So I suggest that you go on a, a calorie surplus of 500 calories or use the 1800 calories per day on average uh, as your guidance. So make sure you eat first, make sure you eat 1800 calories first and uh, go from there. If you gain fat, then eat less. If you don't gain fat uh, and you still look like this, then you need to eat more. And to make it easier to get your to get in your calories, eat more healthy fats because per one gram of uh, fat there are nine um, calories. Okay. Let's take the second example. If you're skinny fat, this is an example of a person who is skinny fat. Why skinny fat? Because he's skinny, his arms are skinny, but he still has some fat. He has some belly fat, uh, some fat. Uh, chest fat. If you find yourself in this situation, 
you don't need to bulk. You definitely don't need to bulk. Okay. You already have fat. You don't need more. Because if you look like this and you go on a surplus to bulk, you're going to just gain more fat. You're not going to lose that fat. And your goal is to lose that fat. Okay. So it doesn't make sense to go on a surplus if you look like this. So I would suggest that you start with a deficit of 500 calories. This is like a healthy way to lose fat. You're going to lose approximately half a pound uh, or a pound per week. And you're going to slowly build muscle. So you still need to train. You go on a deficit and you're going, uh, you're going to slowly build muscle mass and lose fat. And yes, you can build muscle on a cut. You don't... Uh, need any special thing to to build muscle you're just going to um, use that fat to build muscle so it is possible to build muscle on a cut maybe you need to eat a little bit more protein but uh, i'm going to show you like a diet protocol i'm going to talk about that later now the third example if you look like this you're just skinny you're not skinny fat you're not uh, below skinny like uh, in the first example I would say you don't need to bulk and you don't need to cut either if you bulk let's take the two examples you don't need to cut you don't have fat uh, uh, you, you're not that fat so you definitely don't need to cut if you cut you're gonna look like uh, in the first example let's say you bulk you go on a surplus and then what is going to happen is you're going to gain fat. Let's say you train, you're going to build some muscle, but eventually you'll look probably something like this or close to this. And then, like I said, what you need to do in this situation, you need to go on a deficit. So it doesn't make sense to bulk, to go on a surplus. However, to still uh, make sure you optimize muscle growth, I would say you don't uh, you go on a 200 calorie surplus don't go over that because if you go over to 200 calories you're gonna add uh, fat you're gonna gain fat um, week by week so don't go over 200 maybe 100 calorie surplus 200 calorie surplus okay and you don't need to put fat uh, to build muscle you don't need to gain fat to build muscle okay now let's go over the diet uh, protocol. So here's the protocol that I want you to use in order to build muscle. You will use this protocol in any situation you find yourself in. It doesn't matter if it's the first situation, second or third, skinny, fat, skinny, fat, or uh, skinny, skinny, fat, or fat, whatever. You're going to use this protocol. So to maximize muscle growth, you need one, you need to eat four to five times a day with protein and two, combine all macros uh, with each uh, meal. Number one, eat five, uh, eat four or five times a day with protein. Well, you don't really have to eat five big meals a day. It's enough to eat three meals and then two snacks. And if you follow this, if you eat three meals with protein and then two snacks with protein, you don't have to worry about protein intake okay and if you can eat more than that then by all means go and eat four meals and then one snack or five meals but if you're like me you can't eat that much food just stick with three meals and then two snacks and if you're wondering okay but what snacks should i uh, eat well a snack can be a protein shake a protein ice cream or a protein bar and of course make sure you get your calories at the end of the day with these meals and snacks and two, combine all macros in each meal. So combine protein, fats, carbs, and fiber. This way you're gonna have like a balanced diet and you're gonna get all the nutrients that you need. Okay, now let's go over the last point, which is what supplements you should use. Well, first you need, you don't need supplements to build muscle, however, they can help. What I recommend is omega-3 fatty acids. If you don't eat enough healthy fats like salmon, eggs, uh, whey protein powder and creatine. Personally, I take only protein powder and creatine because it helps me like make some snacks, maybe uh, 
protein ice cream a protein shake right and creatine because uh, it gives you like a little boost okay so we've covered uh, everything in this guide once again in my school i help you build your dream body from scratch you don't need to know anything about building muscle losing fat whatever i'll take you from scratch and you don't need any experience at all i'll track your progress your weight everything basically i become your coach and walk you through the things you can do to build a body that you're proud of once you're ready go click the top link in the description to join